Here's a quick little garden tip. Fall is a great time to plant perennials. I was at Lowe's today and back in their discount section I got these two echinaceas for three dollars each. The thing is each one has three plants in it. So I've been I've already soaked the one, I've soaked the other. I'm gonna go down and transplant these now. This is a bed where I had the uh, plum tomatoes and they're all gone. I plant, pulled those plants up and put some newspaper over here just to keep the ground covered so the weeds wouldn't grow. This is going to become my nursery. We have had several days. I don't know how many. It seems like a thousand of rain. We are nowhere near having floods where I'm at. Praise God, but it's been really wet and the weeds have really gotten ahead of me. It's a little early to plant these in the perennial bed, so I'm just going to turn this soil over a little bit. It's looking pretty good. This has been soaking. When you buy these plants, you still want to make sure there's some white roots to it. If there's white roots, it's got a really good chance of making it. They're just too ugly to sell full price. So I've got my shovel here between... I'm going to isolate this plant right here with a quick stab. That'll do it. That's got a lot of nice roots to it. There's two more plants in here, and one of them is really big. Echinacea is something I don't have in the perennial garden right now, and I've wanted some. Ah, this one still has a touch of white, so I know that one's white. This one, I have no clue because it's just too far gone. And this one is probably a white. This one still has some red on it or pink. And that's the only one I can tell there. I was at the feed store today. It was appreci customer appreciation day. And I got a free Biotone starter, starter for plant food, organic. I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in here as I turn this over. I don't think it's going to take a lot. And then I'll make a hole for each plant. Pretty easy digging. I, I'm not going to stop on them. I'm just going to give them plenty of room. This is going to be my nursery. I can keep a good eye on them down here as I work in the garden every day. Send that up. I think these roots all belong to this one. And then when I go to plant these in the perennial bed, I have six plants for six bucks. That's a good deal. I know you might be concerned about the air pockets in here. But I'm going to deal with that in just a minute. So to alleviate those air pockets, I'm just going to drench these with water. It's the same water they were soaking in. Some of these aren't quite as deep as I want them to be, so I'll get some, a little dirt from a nearby bed and uh, fill those in. In the meantime, I can just put newspaper back here, keep the weeds down, because fall is a great time to grow weeds as well. Six plants, six bucks. Quick tip.